Hey, what's up, Internet? Today, we're going to talk about Lomography, Lomochrome, Purple. This is a color negative film. You can shoot anywhere from 100 to 400 ISO, 36 exposures, uh, 35 millimeter, and it does come in 120. So the reason you're here is to learn more about this film and how it turns the greens into purples and the yellows into pink and the blues into greens or teals. Uh, but I can't tell you any of that because I don't want to get into emulsions and photon reaction and silver highlight crystals and stuff like that. So I'm just going to tell you how it reacts to sunlight and how I exposed it. I'm going to take you on three shoots that I did three different times of the day. I did one in the morning and one in the afternoon and one in the late evening. Um, we'll start with the first one, which is the one I think I got the best and most consistent results on. Everything is rated at 400 on all three shoots, not overexposed or underexposed, exposed based on the camera's internal light meter. And the first shoot where we'll start is a sunrise shoot. We had done a shoot in the water and before we left, um, I grabbed a roll of this and we shot through it. The sun was shining through the trees. There was some um, sand and a ton of greenery and some big live oaks. I think it worked out great. Uh, again, this was the most consistent roll. Um, so let's start with that one. shot this was a late afternoon you can see why we ran late to golden hour Danica and I were having a great time we found this puddle behind a laundromat and a car wash like what's more film photography than that for our second location uh, which was this beautiful home in my neighborhood but there just wasn't enough sunlight cutting through all the oak trees you can see in the background of some of those photos where the Sun is hitting the leaves um, it seems like it almost activates it. So even some of the overexposed images where there was green that should have turned purple, those are still really muted. And I fixed some of them with the saturation and kind of colorized the images afterwards. But you can tell where there was the golden glow of the golden hour. Uh, those were the best images. But this set overall was kind of muted and dull. So the last shoot, I wanted to shoot in uh, as close to midday as possible. So we went out at about three or four, um, went to a really bright location, no trees, on the water, a lot of sand, 
um, a white washed up boat, um, even throwing more reflection on it. You'll see that this one is the most vivid roll that we had. It was shot at 400, it was properly exposed, but the sun was just beating down and hitting every surface there, um, which also adds to the contrast. So you'll see the teals and you'll see the pinks and some of the really deep purples, but you'll also see some of the contrast. And when you go to pull up those shadows, it gets really muddy and really nasty really fast. So um, yeah, come along, check out this one and we'll wrap up. So hopefully I saved you some time and money. Uh, when I go out to shoot this roll here, um, I will shoot with plenty of sunlight, uh, direct sunlight. I wanna get those pinks and purples and really vibrant colors. I'll probably shoot near the water or with a really blue sky so that I can get those teals to take full advantage of it, um, which I didn't do in the first shoot. And then in the second shoot again, we missed the sunlight, so the colors were muted. But the last shoot, um, although it was very high contrast and um, a little hard to edit, it was one of the cooler rolls. So, thanks guys. See you next time.